Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about the state pattern. Uh, so, so many of you have been requesting me to complete a design patterns playlist actually. Uh, it is a bit late. Sorry for that. Um, uh, now I'm going to upload both state pattern and strategy pattern the other two pattern template and visitor I'll be uploading soon don't worry okay done so as you know we have behavioral patterns right how many behavioral patterns we have uh, around, somewhere around 11 so in that state pattern is one of the behavioral pattern okay done and in each and every design pattern what do we learn we learn intent we learn also known as motivation applicability structure participants uh, and implementation and known users related patterns and all we'll be learning right so for each and everything let us see now it is one of the behavioral pattern done and what is the intent of the state pattern allows an object to alter its behavior when its internal state changes so when the internal an object will have states right an object will have its state right so when the internal state of the object is changing it will allow an object to alter its behavior that is change its behavior okay done so whenever internal state is changing the behavior also is changed right and the object appears to change its class and the object appears how the object uh, looks to us it appears like it has changed its class okay now this is also known as objects for states it is easy to remember object and state you have an intent also right now uh, moving over to the motivation see in motivation you know what why do we write motivation section right so first let us consider a class tcp connection the name of the class is tcp connection okay we are considering a class which is called as tcp connection so obviously every class will have an object right so this class also will have an object uh, we can give any name to that object right and that object will have some states right every class will have an object and object will have some states and what are those states like we are just assuming it's this that's not fixed it's just an example established listening closed these are the three states we have in this we have for this object of tcp connection class okay done now when the tcp connection object will receive a request it responds according to its current state that is in at present it is in which state whether it is in established state or whether it is in listening state or whether it is in closed state according to its current state it will respond okay when it will respond the object when it when it uh, gets a request then it will respond according to its current state done now okay everything done i have explained everything about tcb connection object state okay then what state pattern will do here state pattern what it does is it explains it will explain how this object can have different behavior in different states so in established state it will have a different behavior in listening established in the sense connection is established listening in the sense it is listening it is listening to the incoming packets closed in the sense the connection is closed right in each and every state how an object can have different behaviors right that is explained with the help of the state pattern and how it can have different behaviors obviously with the help of the abstract class abstract class okay done so this is about the motivation we are considering a class which is which with the name tcp connection that class will also have object the objects will also have some states so in different different states it will exhibit different behavior how it can expect uh, sorry express different behavior in, in different states? different that is explained with the help of state pattern okay done now let us move over to the applicability in applicability so uh, applicability is nothing but in which situations you can apply this right so when an object behavior depends on state when the object behavior depends on the state object state when the object behavior is depending on its state then you can use this and when operations have large and multi-part conditional statements that depend on the see operations in the sense when uh, suppose a program or a part of a program or an algorithm or a logic which is having multi-part conditional statements okay and those will depend on the state of the object right so in that case also you can use this state pattern okay done so mostly it is concerned about objects and states done now let us move over to the structure and participants so the structure is actually simple 
when compared to some other design patterns so first what what else what you'll have is you'll have a context you'll have state you'll have concrete state and you'll have concrete state a and concrete state b that's all okay so sorry what do you mean by context context is nothing but it will define the interface to the clients right so as per their requirements it will be defining a interface to the client so what is the job of cl uh, context interface to client done next what do we have we have state right what state will do it will also define a interface but for what for encapsulating the behavior of a particular state of the context so the context will have different states right so to encapsulate the behavior of this the state of this context it is providing a interface okay done next what do we have we have concrete state a and concrete state b right so here what this concrete states will do they are the subclasses of state that is clear right so they are the subclasses of state pattern a state class and implement the behavior of a particular state so a per, you'll have a particular stage right you have three stages in the previous example which we have seen a particular example for each and every single example we will be creating a concrete state a concrete state b concrete state c like that okay done so this is about the structure in structure we have context state and concrete states what context will do it will define an interface to the client what state will do it will also define an interface but to, to do what in order to encapsulate the behavior of the uh, behavior of each and every state right and why do we have concrete states they are nothing but the subclasses of the state pattern so these two are the subclasses and what these subclasses will do they will implement right uh, some see from previously from last uh, so many design patterns we have see, we are seeing the same thing a uh, normal this this class the parent class will be defining an interface and the subclasses will be implementing that right that is what we have be, we have been seeing so the same here it will it is used to implement done so this is about the structure and participants so who are the participants now structure you have to write the heading structure and draw the structure and then you have to write the heading participants and you need to describe each and every participant okay done clear so now moving over to the consequences what are the consequences it will localize consequences in the sense you know right the results it could be bad or it could be good advantages or disadvantages whatever it is so it will localize the state specific behavior and partitions behavior for different states localizes the state specific behavior it will localize that is it will uh, you know what local is and what global is right try to understand that difference and partitions behavior for different state for different state different behavior and it will localize the state specific behavior to that particular state itself okay not disclosing it to all the others and it makes uh, state transitions explicit done and state objects can be shared so these three are the consequences that you're going to get out of the state pattern okay done now after consequences what is that we are going to learn we are going to learn about the implementation right that is how do we implement this any participant can define the state transition that is no fixed participant like only this person has to decide the transition transition in the sense you know right suppose this is one state and this is the other state you are going from here to here then that is the transition so any like from which state to which state you have to travel that can be decided by any of the participant it is not that context or state or concrete state any participant can decide okay and it is a table based alternative that is here you are using table right it is a table based alternative that is you are using tables to do what map input to the state transitions see if you are aware of the uh, subject formal languages and automata theory in that you have tables right in tables you will be giving the input and depending on the transition you will be writing so the same you have to uh, relate here okay so tables are used to map the input to the transitions and creating and destroying state objects so whenever you need you need to create and whenever the use with that particular state object is over you need to destroy the object okay done very clear and you are using the dynamic inheritance here done so these are the this is the implementation how you implement state pattern and next moving over to the known users in tcp connection protocol you will be using this the example which we have seen just now in the video and it was also used in the line drawing tool okay next what are the related patterns flyweight pattern and single turn pattern are the related patterns to this state pattern done so that's all for this video uh, i hope you understood if not just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to improve by the next time and thanks for watching the video till the end uh, i hope the same support from your side and if you want me to make any other subjects or any other topics just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely make it for sure and thanks uh, for supporting my channel and uh, that's all if if you feel uh, that you have understood clearly just hit the like button and also share it with your friends